And now we come to the awards for art direction. My favorite baby doll, Miss Carol Baker, will give Oscar to the winners, and Mr. Richard Chamberlain will give a pint of blood to the losers. <laughs> Will you assist Nurse Baker? Oh, ready, Dr. Kilhane. Category? Art direction, black and white. Mm -hmm. Nominees? One, The Absent-Minded Professor, Art Direction by Carol Clark, Set Decoration by Emil Corey and Hal Gosman. Two, The Children's Hour, Art Direction by Fernando Carrere, Set Direction by Edward G. Boyle. Three, The Hustler, Art Direction by Harry Horner, Set Decoration by Gene Callahan. Four, Judgment at Nuremberg, Art Direction by Rudolf Sternad, Set Decoration by George Milo. Five, La Dota Vita, Art Direction by Piero Girardi. Envelope? Envelope. And the winner is? Harry Horner for The Hustler. Accepting for both Harry Horner and Gene Callahan, Mr. William Fadiman. On behalf of Harry Horner, a Hollywood man, in Toronto tonight, working on a set for the Seattle World's Fair, thank you. Well, you handled that very well, Carol. Have you ever been a nurse? No, but uh, I watch Ben Casey every week. Good grief, the child is sick. <laughs> well, we'd better hurry on to the award for art direction for a color picture. Nominees are Breakfast at Tiffany's, art direction by Hal Ferrer and Roland Anderson. Set decoration by Sam Comer and Ray Moyer. El Cid, art direction by Venerio Colasante and John Moore. Flower Drum Song, art direction by Ale Alexander Galitzin and Joseph Wright. Set decoration by Howard Bristol. Summer and Smoke, art direction by Hal Pereira and Walter Tyler. Set decoration by Sam Comer and Arthur Crams. West Side Story, art direction by Boris Levin, set decoration by Victor Ganglin. And the winner, Carol? And the winner is Boris Levin for West Side Story. Thank you very much. I'm deeply grateful for this honor. I am very deeply grateful to the Bob Wise and the Marriage Company. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>